glass blocks aren't just decorative. They insulate from heat, cold, and noise. They begin with just four ingredients. Recycled glass pieces called cullet, sand, soda ash, and limestone. A computerized system portions out each one and feeds them into a melter. This giant furnace heats the batch of ingredients to a fiery 1500 degrees Celsius, transforming them into molten glass. The melter pumps out enough molten glass to make one half block at a time. Automated shears slice it off. The gob of glass then slides into a waiting mold. A plunger pushes the gob down, spreading glass throughout the mold cavity. Its waffled surface imprints that pattern into the glass. Pipes overhead blast ambient air that cools down the molten glass drastically, from 1000 to 600 degrees Celsius, in just a few seconds. This way, they don't lose their shape when this retractable arm extracts them from the mold and lays them on a conveyor belt leading into a sealing machine. This is where two half blocks join together to form a full block. Entering the machine, each piece passes over a series of burners that keep the glass temperature constant. Sudden cooling could crack or shatter the glass. The machine then slowly reheats the half blocks until their edges start melting. They enter the part of the machine called the squeeze station. There, an automated press forces a top half and bottom half together. Their melted edges fuse, forming a single block. The blocks now travel into a layer, an oven that cools the glass at regulated temperatures over several hours. This annealing process prevents cracking and allows the glass time to set properly. The glass temperature going in is about 1000 degrees Celsius. Coming out, it's down to 80 degrees or so. The blocks are now ready for inspection. Workers use digital alignment gauges to make sure both halves are flush. Then they run a straight piece of steel along the block's surface to check for any distortion. Each and every block must meet precise standards for both size and shape. This finished block is a 19 cm square that's 10 cm thick. Building with glass blocks is similar to building with bricks. You use mortar to stick them together. To prep the blocks for mortaring, workers now place each one onto a separate station. As it spins, nozzles spray the edges with liquid vinyl. This coating will help the mortar stick to the glass surface. Just one last step. An inkjet printer applies the product code along with the manufacturing date and time. The quality control department runs samples through an impact test. A worker drops a weight through a tube onto the side of the block. This verifies the strength of the sidewall and the seal between the two halves. Finally, the glass blocks are ready for shipping. Workers pack them into cardboard boxes that have block-sized sections to keep them safe during transport. Glass blocks come in so many shapes, sizes and patterns that the design possibilities are endless. Both practical and beautiful, it's no wonder they're so popular with builders and decorators alike.